I can take you around the heavens and show you how to fly. Was a moment caught forever. There was something in her eyes, but I wish I could remember why Mona Lisa smiled. Marissa, thank you for joining me this morning. Now we've got a first and a very exciting event coming up in April. Maria, tell us all about this. So we, we are excited at the Antigua Barbuda Tourism Authority to be hosting for the first time, the first edition of the Antigua and Barbuda Art Week, taking place from April 16th to 22nd onto the theme, Culture in Color. One of the catalysts for us in, in terms of deciding we wanted to host this event was a number of the artists had reached out to us and they felt like, you know, they wanted to kind of showcase their art to the visitors. And one of them said, why not host an art week? And then we had that whole art in Antigua and Barbuda group on Facebook. And they were also prompting us, we need to be able to showcase our art more, showcase our art more. And so our heritage and culture paper team, which maybe is also a member, and we are responsible for promoting our rich culture, rich heritage, and the arts we felt is just part of what makes up the fabric of Antigua Barbuda. And we, we definitely said to the artists that yes, we are going to be putting on a showcase that will allow you to, you know, share your, your talent and your creativity with the world and with Antigua and Barbudans and Antigua and Barbuda Art Week was born. So it's been a while in the offing, Marissa, uh -huh. how long have you been planning this? Uh, this has been in the works since before COVID and <laughs> you know, yes. once when COVID happened, everything just, you yeah. know, life, yes, life came to a sudden stop. Yeah. So now that we are post COVID, we want to get back in the swing of things. Like, well, you know, our new normal. And so we are here planning, preparing for our first art week, which is in just a little over a month. <laughs> yes. That was panic in your voice. <laughs> I didn't realize it was so soon. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've, we've got some incredible artists. Um, you've got the art group, and I have to confess, I'm on that art group yes. as well. Um, and we've got some amazing artists in Antigua whose works hang in galleries around the world. What artists do you have involved in this? So we have Heather Dorham, of course. She is one of the leading oh, yes. contemporary artists in Antigua and Barbuda, and the wider Caribbean as well. And her work is amazing. Yeah, very, very nice. It stands out, uh, doesn't it, when you see it? When you see her work, you think of Caribbean. You know, she just brings the Caribbean to life. She brings Antigua and Barbuda to life. And she is going to be one of our featured artists at Antigua and Barbuda Art Week. We also have Matt Brown. Oh, oh. not a amazing One of my, my favourite paintings ever that she did last year. The um, Lady of the Soil, I think it's yes. called. It, it just, wow. <laughs> there was a show recently held at Catherine's, so yep. it organized by the Art and Antigua Barbuda group. And he had a painting of a man. And it, it, it was just a portrait of it. And his eyes were so piercing. And I loved that painting. I said other people in that room, it was, it was so loved that it got sold that same night of the opening. I'm not surprised. Yeah, so great pieces. Jack so we have some incredible artists, uh, Emil Hill, we're working with Emil, he's going to be curating some of the pieces for us for that piece of it as well, because you know, I mean, we love art, but you know, they have some real art critiques that <laughs> so we want to make sure, and there's so much artists available, that we really want to make sure that we're not just focused on the, the ones that we know, but we have an opportunity to spotlight 
<laughs> just yesterday yes. I got a call someone was asking how can their work be showcased yes. and we get those calls a lot so we are encouraging persons who are young and upcoming artists that we do not know um, to just reach out to us and to you know showcase your work okay. during That's Art Week. Yes. Also working with that group that Art and Antigua by Beauty Group on Facebook there's a, a committee behind of it of course <laughs> So we're working with um, the team there to create some of the art for the show as well. Now the theme you've chosen, yes. culture and colour, it conjures up all sorts of vibrant images. What's the idea behind that theme? So the idea behind of it is, you know, we are part of the heritage and culture pillar for the tourism about in heritage and culture is one of our strategic focus. And we felt that it was necessary for us to bring the culture to life. When persons think about heritage and culture, they might be almost stuck in a box. They might just yeah. think basically black and white. Yes, you know? hockey art, which yes. is a big major, you know, that's global heritage site and a key selling point for us in the destination. They might think Hannibal, they might think steel pan. When you bring artists to the picture, you know, artists have such this. Their minds are so expansive, their creativity knows no limit. That when you bring them into the picture, you tell them to show me our culture, show me the richness and the vibrancy of Antigua Barbados culture and art. So we are going to just get some incredible pieces yeah. and it is really going to, to get people thinking about the way we look at ourselves. Um, the way we see ourselves, and I think it is going to be an eye-opening experience. I, I'm really looking forward to it, actually. I mean, the, the, there is so much colour in Antigua, the colours, the sunsets, the way the light falls on the rainforest, the, the, the flags, the dresses, and, and it, it's a land of vibrancy and colour, even our flags. Yes, and yes. we wanted a thing that was also wasn't very limiting yes. to what we can, what the artists yes. will bring out. We wanted something that, you know, parents who are in would, would have to think about, okay, well, how can I express Antigua's and Barbuda's culture in colour? Wow, I you know, know. That's something, a great yes. Thing. Now, going back to the, the event, you've got a lot of Happening, things happening, haven't you? You've got a lot of things yes, happening here. Yeah. Can you give us a bit of a rundown of what what is going to be happening that week? So just before that, can I tell you that when we started talking about putting together the art week, it was going to be even bigger. <laughs> 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 because the team, they, they are married to just, oh, they just came with all of these different ideas. It was just, okay, we know that we, we've been planning this for a while. I don't know, we, we, we said that before COVID. But when we got to when we got to go ahead with action at the start of 2023 and I said we need to we need to make it happen now but we need to kind of do it on a yeah, small we'll save some of the great ideas for next year. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This is this is the first one. It's yeah, gonna be the first one of many yeah, people absolutely wanting sure. to look forward to and at week 2024. Yes. So yes. April 22nd, they will be so excited and brilliant. Oh, yes, yes. yes. Uh, week 2024 is gonna be next April and Yes, we yeah, want to be sorry about the shit. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly. Let's get this year off. I don't want. I want people in the arts community, the wider arts community, to, to rest assured that twenty twenty four, the plan is to really include a lot more mm -hmm. and even work with, with them. So that if they want to put on an event, it's going to be a collaboration. Yeah. So this is going to be the time period for the, the week. If you want to put on your own event during the week. Go ahead and do it. The tourism authority will support you in terms of promoting that event. Mm -hmm. now, before we actually talk about yes. the events you're coming up, we, we've been talking about art, we've been talking about paintings and visual okay. arts, but actually this is more than just paintings, isn't it? This is yes. music, this is film, yes. this is performing arts. Mm -hmm. yes. So it's... And a week of activities is going to showcase all of that. Yes. 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 So run us a little bit through some of the activities? Well, currently we have the school's arts competition yes. that is running. We have to put that on before the actual yeah. event and we will announce the winner on the 16th. So this art competition is for students aged 5 to 17 in all the schools across Antigua and Barbuda. Once in between that age, you are free to participate in the activity. We will announce the winner 
on the 16th, like I said. So it's from the 6th of April to the 6th. Sorry, 6th of March to the 6th of April. What's the date today? So it's already started. It's already started. It's already started. The initial uh, cut-off date was the 7th and it was brought to our attention that the 7th is a holiday. So, okay. yes. We have a holiday. Yes. 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 So we also we are asking our students to drop off their art piece to the Antiguan Barbie the Tourism Authority on or before the 6th of April. And for students in Barbuda, they'll drop these art pieces off to their tourism office in Barbuda. Right. And we will get these over here. Now the theme is the same the, theme. The same theme so that the students are able to give us a variety of art. And they're able to use watercolor, quick drying paint, crayons. You can even do a collage to express how they picture the theme culture in color so that what staying with the school for a moment so the schools are being involved yes um do they have to register with you through, no. or through the schools or the, just this enter? information was sent to all the principals right. okay. so if you need more information yeah, yeah through the ministry of education you can go to your principal and or you can visit our social media pages right. for this information and you could drop it off if you don't want to go through the school you could just do this art piece and drop it off at our office with your name your number all this information is provided on our social media pages but the last couple of years we've had the royal school of drawing here working with our teachers and i was privileged to meet some of them to see some of the works i think mark brown last year yes. and that's where that painting awesome painting woman of the soil came from so are they now involved with this art school program, the teachers that did that course? I, I think for us, we just went directly to the Ministry, to the ministry of Education. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So in addition, obviously, to the principals, I guess they would pass it on to the art teachers. Yes. Yeah. So, so we sent it to the principals, yes. Yeah. Yeah. We wanted to touch some of those places. Yes. So if you're a budding young artist, keep going. Find out from your principal, find out from the Ministry of Tourism and make sure your work of art is in by the 6th of April? Yes, the 6th of April. Maundy Thursday? It's a Thursday, yes. Ma Maundy Thursday, make sure your art is I in there. Yes. And what about the week itself? The 16th to the 22nd of April, what's happening then? So on the 16th, we open that art exhibition. So some of the pieces are the winning pieces from the students who would have participated in the school's art competition mm -hmm. will be exhibited there in addition to the pieces that we would have curated from the different artists in Antigua and Barbuda. So we're very excited about that opening. Because we will, we will be announcing the winner we'll on that day and, and then. then. And yes. where's that event taking place? It's taking place at the Boom at, at Gunpowder House. Oh right, right. nice, nice view, nice position. Fantastic location. Um, it is, it is going to allow us to target the visitors that will be coming in around yeah. that time who will already be here because we have a number of sailing events that are taking place in that area and it will be it will also be open for residents of Antigua and Barbuda to come this, and look at the art. This is a sort of event that um, visitors would definitely aim for. They yeah. find out they go as well as all of us in Antigua and Barbuda. This is um, a tourism and a home event, which yes. is lovely to see. Sometimes we do things and we think, well, why do the tourists have all the fun? Yes, so this true. is going to be awesome. And just to point out, so when you say it's also a home event, that whole interest is there. Yeah. Okay, because as Melissa said, she's got a cause. How can I get my work exhibited? We, I've gotten calls to, actually gotten calls from fashion designers, they want to be included as well. Uh, people who want to hold art workshops, they want. So the, the whole interest, which is so important for us, is there because we want people in Antigua and Barbuda to appreciate it because we're doing it for us as well as for the visitors. Absolutely. So in addition to the work being exhibited at the Puma Gunpowder House, work will be exhibited at VC World International Airport. Yeah. The persons coming in, they are definitely going to get the chance to see 
the all the beautiful the pieces. pieces. Yeah. This is like yes. created here locally, and we know that our artists have been craving that kind of spot, and we're happy to to present, provide mm -hmm. an opportunity for them to be to display their work. The visitors are going to be blown away. I mean, when yes. when they get to the airport, when they leave more than they come in, they see that incredible yes. mural yeah. that stretches round. Yes. It's the artwork yes. inside as well. Yes. They're going to be blown and away. It's so strategic for us because we want to make sure that we highlight our culture. So we're, we're definitely happy um, that the artists are going to help us to do that and hope we have those pieces for a lifetime if they don't get sold. <laughs> because the artists, of course, are going to selling make me conserve the pieces as well. And oh, event, yes. And what are the other events? You've got a whole week yes. of events, haven't you? So that exhibit lasts for a whole week. Yeah. So if you don't get to see it, well, it opens to the public on the 17th. Okay, if you don't get to see it on the 17th, you have that whole week to see it. We also have on Wednesday a movie night. Yeah. So we are hosting that movie night at Gallant Blacks in English Harbour as well. On Dr. Yard Drive. On Dr. Yard Drive. And it is an opportunity for persons to come out and watch a local film. Right. We won't tell you the film yet. Yeah, so we'll oh. keep that as a surprise. Oh. Just yes. know that so it is. It is no. antique and grown, okay? Yes, yes. yes. So, right. so that's an opportunity to highlight the producers and the rest of the app because it's, it's antique and grown and antique is very much inside of that in, in the film. So we're going to get to highlight them as well. On the Thursday now, we have the artist. No. We, we, take, we take a break on Thursday. We take a break yeah, on Thursday. Sorry. On the, the exhibit is still going the, on. The exhibit is an ongoing event. Yeah. <laughs> on the Friday now, we have an artist show showcase. Yes. Right. The artist showcase is going to be held at Alice on the Beach Restaurant and Art Gallery. It's up on the north side. Yes, yes. Yeah. Sickinson Bay Stretch. And we are going to be showcasing our musicians. Our poets, and hopefully we, we will still have art. We have a different type of art. A little bit of body art might be there. So fashion, fashion. fashion. Yes, I'm on. I'm on. I mean, so you've got you're going to have some some fashion, some music. Yes, some movement. Yes, this that, is something yes. that people don't think about when they think art. They think paintings. It's oh, wow. And that's what we want to bring awareness to. You know, art is not just what you put on a canvas. Yes. yes. So, so that's going to be an exceptional event as well. We're going to be spotlighting the six up and coming. So, this is a new and emerging kind of talent, as well as um, cultural performers will be present as well. And that event is open to the public. Um, it starts at six thirty. Yeah, we'll, we'll put, make sure all the details are yes. up there so that everybody yes. knows yes. and puts it in their diary. Yes. Oh, that is a real, really amazing week of events you've got there. I, I, I forgot to mention, um, we're also going to be doing art walks and studio tours. So this is self-guided, self um, but we're going to encourage, encourage persons during the week to visit the studios. Oh uh, yes, now we've got a few dotted around. Don't live it to just the art week. week. You could go exactly. before, you could go during art week, you could go after art week. Just right. go visit the studios, enjoy what the locals can do. Because there's so much talent in Antigua. Oh, it's it's just crazy. Some, like, of, some of the featured studios that we have, we start off in Redcliffe Key with Zemi. Zemi's art gallery. Mm -hmm. Zemi is pretty amazing, isn't he? Because he takes bits of flotsam mm -hmm. and jetsam that he yeah. has. And so we turn it into most beautiful things. Yes. I would say that's sustainable. 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 Yeah. He does it. And the colours, I love his I love his pieces. I think, yeah. When you go into that that the art gallery store, you can get you can just get lost in there for a couple of like maybe 30 minutes. Oh, I, I get a lot of presents in there. Yes. Be able to show them some of the colours and yes. skills. Just going through the pieces. And then we have Guav the Art, also on that stretch with Terrell. And his art is quite unique. Quite different, isn't it's it? Different. You're, you're it's going different. from one extreme to yes. another with that. Yes, so we are, we are good advising people. Let's take an art walk, students, schools, go out there during the week. 
visit it. Then we have the fig tree um, studio art gallery for yep. fig tree drive. With Sally, yeah, whose surname I can't remember yes, at the moment. Sally's out there. She features a variety of Caribbean artists. We have Marjorie Hunt, formerly you known as Cedars Pottery, and they 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 do some amazing sculpt pieces and it's. Uh, just a switch art on display that will just blow your mind away. Edison Life of his art gallery. Then we go out to English Harbour. We have Rhythm of Blue. Rhythm of Blue, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nancy Nicholson. Yes, Nancy. With the Arawak designs on those beautiful blue backgrounds. Yes. And so we, those are the, those are the featured uh, spots that we invite people to go to. Uh, if there are the studio, studios in Antigua and Barbuda that want to be included on um, a list of the art wall um, and the studio tour, then let us know. Our number is 562-7600. You call, you can leave your, your information with the receptionist or you could ask to speak to Maria and myself if we are available. But once you leave that information, we will definitely be calling yes. you back because we want everybody to yeah. be involved. Yes. How many art galleries, not, not studios, but galleries do we have in Antigua that display many artists' work? We've got the G Art Gallery uh -huh. um, down near the uh, university. Yes. What other art galleries do we have? This is what we want to find out. Yes. <laughs> we know, <laughs> we know. You know I bet if they have some restaurants as well that exhibit art in the back of the zoo. Yeah, but but yes, he has this that. art there. Anna's. Uh, yeah. Uh, Kadabra. Yes. Uh, there as well. When you went to Boom the other day, they had art uh, up because they were doing an art exhibit. I think it was a Nancy as well. So there are lots, they might not be an official like art gallery, but different. And there's spots. those in Heritage Key and Redcliffe Key as yes. well that exhibit art that's on sale. The, you know. the museum as well has some art pieces um, on on display there and arts at work as well. Uh, but we definitely want to get that listing. So, if you have a studio and you have an art gallery, then please get in contact with us so we can add you to it. We end up a week with everybody having been inspired by all of the art they've seen, by all of the professional and up and coming artists. And so now we end up a week with a paint, sip, and eat. Paint, sip, and eat. And eat. Yes, yeah. So it's not when you actually have yes. the chance to. Yes. yes. So yeah, you you will now you know be able to be creative, oh and this event will be held at just the, yes, at the Green Castle Ranch. <laughs> Uh, it's just a small, tiny, tiny fee of 160 EC dollars, Eastern Caribbean dollars, not US dollars. So we are inviting persons if you are interested because it's, it's a limited it's number of persons. Yes. So if you are interested um, to be a part of our SIP, Paint and Eat events, please and reach eat. out to us for a ticket or you can call the Green Castle Ranch as well because they'll have tickets on sale. Where is the Green Castle Ranch? Just there in Bendel's. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. 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 I'm really... And that's a really, um, really nice location as well too. So this is the inaugural event. It's the first of many, 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 many and you're yes. already working on obviously 2024. <laughs> Just one last thing before we, we wrap up. Why is art so important? Personally, I think art is a way for persons to express themselves, whether it's in food, whether it's in clothing, in music. I think it's a way for persons to, you know, say how they're feeling without actually saying how they're feeling. Um, that's my take on why art is so important. It gives persons the freedom to express themselves. Do you have thoughts on that, Maria? I, I would really agree with Mauricio in terms of art being an outlet. Uh, for persons to express themselves um, and once it, it stays around for a while and persons who come you know after us and you, you take a look at, at the art you get a feel for what life was like um, back then you get a feel for the, the artists themselves you know when you go to these um, museums and you see works on persons who were who lived 
years and years and years ago and you just be like just look at the pieces in here and you just say wow you know you, you look at how the, the strokes that they did um the, the, what, what they painted because sometimes what they painted gives you an idea of what was important then you know as i said the way life was and so that's that's why it's so important for us now to to recognize our artists and showcase their work because it it is the, the theme is perfect culture in color because it is really going to be a reflection of the culture of Antigua and Barbuda at this particular time in history. And this is an event to look forward to to make sure you attend or make sure that the numbers all the contact details are up. And if you're actually interested in seeing some of the pictures that were at Catherine's, there is a YouTube, uh, on, on my YouTube there, Zoe in Antigua, when I spoke to some of the artists and uh, some of the artists we've been talking about today, you can see some of the pictures there. Marissa, Maria, thank you so much for joining me today. And we will be talking more about this event. I'm absolutely sure of it. Thank you thank for you having for us. Having us. Yeah, we hope to see you there. Oh, yes. Oh, oh yes. yes. The master of invention, the painter of our times. I can take you around the heavens and show you how to fly. It was a moment caught forever. There was something in her eyes. I wish I could remember why more